life is at stake? Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and all of you who have ever been terrified ever since I started the sport of canyoneering almost four years ago, I have seen some of the most amazing places in the Southwest. But I've also had some of the most terrifying experiences of my life. Tonight, I'm gonna to tell you about three of those experiences and how I learned to slow down, stay calm, and stay together. One of the things I love about canyoneering is all the fun and adventurous people that you meet. <coughs> A couple of years ago, I found myself in a canyon with some of these fun and adventurous people. And as I was following along, trying to stay up with them, I was having a hard time keeping up with them. And I came upon a hole of water, deep hole, and I just followed them. And I, I tried to straddle over that hole. And next thing I know, my foot slipped inside the hole and my arm swung out like this, my knee went into the side of the hole, and I later found out that my shoulder was actually cracked. And this, the terrifying part of this experience was that I still had to rappel down two 100-foot cliffs with my arm in a sling. So the lesson that I learned from this experience was that I need to slow down. And that goes for all of us. When you're rushing, maybe you're rushing to a Toastmaster meeting or you're rushing to work, we all need to slow down. You have a tendency to get going too fast and you'll get in an accident, hurt yourself. How many of you have ever went swimming in, your, in a swimming pool in the winter time? Anybody? Well, that's what it feels like to swim or to be in a keeper pothole. A keeper pothole is usually at the bottom of a rappel, and it's a big hole of water. Sometimes it's very deep and over your head and very cold, and usually I wear a wetsuit for this condition. But on this particular rappel, I was advised I didn't need to wear my wetsuit. So I rappelled down oh, because there was a ledge at the bottom, and I could just stand on the ledge and walk around the hole. So I rappelled down, I stood on the ledge, and as I'm walking to the side to get around the hole, my rope, I was trying to pull it out in my belay device, and as I'm pulling it out, I lost my balance and splash into the freezing cold water. All I could think of was how long before I get hypothermia? <laughs> so I swam as fast as I could to the other side. My rope was still in there and it was slowing me down and, my, and the water was so cold, my hands were numb trying to get it out. And so I tried with all my might to get out of this hole. If the water was over my head and my pack had filled with water and I could not get out. So I, I looked to the right and I looked to the left and there was a piece of rope. Someone had put a piece of rope, maybe for this situation. And I was able to pull on that rope and get myself out of the hole. And as I stood there, shivering, all I could think of was, why didn't I just take off my pack? I could have gotten out of the hole. So the lesson I learned from this situation was, Stay calm, don't panic. There's often a very simple and direct solution for any kind of a sticky situation that you get in if you just stay calm. Now the third experience that I had involved a 320 foot rappel. And this is near Sedona, it's called insomnia. And if you look closely, you can see here I am at the bottom and here is Mr. Paul Pastore coming down this rappel. And let me tell you, this rappel will keep you awake both the night before <laughs> as well as the night after you do it. But actually, the rappel itself was not the terrifying experience. It was exhilarating and fun. And actually, the terrifying experience came 
on, on the exit of the canyon. It was a sneak route. And a sneak right. route typically means there's no trail. So for some reason, I decided to go off on my own. And I got all the way up this very steep cliff and I couldn't go any further. And I noticed that the rest of my party wasn't behind me. So I yelled, I'm over here. And I heard them yell back, you have to come over here. So I tried to get over there, but there was no other way besides just sliding on my rear all the way back down to where I started. And then I had to hike up to where they were. And by this time, it was already starting to get dark. So we had to hike and crawl on our hands and knees, reaching for branches and loose rocks and everything we could to get out with only one headlamp. And let me tell you, this was terrifying in the pitch dark. So the lesson I learned from this experience was stay together. If you're in a place that you don't know where you're at, it's really a good idea to stay with your party, stay together. So the three lessons, just repeat after me. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Stay calm. Stay calm. And stay together. Stay together. Don't get yourself in a situation where you are terrified! <laughs> <laughs>